Oh, if mum did do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you to AJ, to you and all your DVDs, because I could deal as a mum with so many denied emotions I had zero idea of, because I was always a perfect mum and everything with the other three children was working perfectly well. And from 16 years on, I was always on some doing something spiritual courses and all over the world and spending heaps of money. Yeah. And 18 years ago, I gave birth to a disabled child. She has Down syndrome. And later on, I found out she has a hearing disability and she has autism. And I never once cried about it. And I actually still haven't cried about it because yeah. I had all those new age strategies. Yes, yep. And every quarter of a year, I went to some kind of retreat yeah. to keep me afloat. And yeah. it worked per perfectly well yeah. uh, in all other areas. But my disabled child, she went downhill, refusing to get dressed, refusing to get in the car, refusing to cut fingernails, refusing to wash hair, to, to comb hair. So, refusing and I can get on and on soiling her bed after yeah. she was, when she was uh, a young child, never soiled her bed. Yeah. So anyway, I can go on and on and on. It was refusing and to eat the good, good food. And refi yeah, and now with food, she was okay because I had that under control. Yeah. <laughs> But so, and I always, all, I did, all, I had some money and, and uh, did lots of courses to learn also st strategies with disabled kids. Yep. Also, I was a teacher, so I knew a lot anyway and was yep. very proud of myself. And because she is in severely intellectually disabled, so all my strategies didn't work in the end, and only for a couple of weeks. Yep. So, and what I, what I only found out recently, I mean, I listened to the DVDs and all, I knew it in my head. But only a couple of weeks ago, I actually can now immediately, if she sits on the floor and not wanting to move, I know it's me. And I look immediately, what was my fear? What was my thought? And it could have been, for example, recently my other daughter, she has a baby and her husband has children. And we, we were together at an event and everything seemed happy. And suddenly she attacked my little grandchild and I immediately, usually I would just cope in a different way. Yes. But yeah. immediately I knew it, I have to look and I haven't found it right away. But at least I found the block. I found that moment to look. And then she calmed down. So I've, I, I just want to say it's such, a, it's such, such an enlightening experience, experience yeah. to know I can finally do something yeah. when I have looked everywhere uh, basically yeah, i've looked i have looked everywhere to help her and me to cope with our lives because it's quite lonely as a single mom with a disabled child but i have only always helped myself to be in that happy bubble and i was always happy mm -hmm. had workshops at my place and whatnot going to other events yeah. and i was always happy yeah. And I knew all the latest things which happening in the, was happening in the world with which guru and <laughs> whatnot. <laughs> and my child was the proof that it didn't, nothing worked. Spot on. But I didn't know it until I found you. And even then, it took me half a year to even... Um, to understand what I was really saying yeah, in a practical yeah. way. And I couldn't cry. I went to also processing group and I thought, oh, for God's sake, that's the last thing I want to do. <laughs> Because I never cried. You don't cry. Yeah, if yeah. you're intelligent and whatnot, you don't cry. Yeah. And a, a disabled child is actually one of the best reflectors of a person's emotion. And the reason why is because they can't, they don't have the intellectual barriers we've established to, to in, a, in what we call a normal child. A normal child has received all these intellectual and emotional barriers to feeling, their, feeling theirs and your emotion. Whereas a disabled child, so-called disabled, they're not very disabled when it comes to emotions. They are spot on the ball every single time. When it she comes is to spot on. I never knew where to look. Yep. And I just want to say that to every other mother too. You don't need to have a disabled child yes. to finally wake up. Exactly. You can do it with your own child every moment. And I'm just regretting because my other three children, they are so intelligent. And I took them, they went to Saibaba and took them to other 
events or one of them and to say bye bye. So anyway, and they, like me, are not have, have never learned to deal with their emotions. And, and, and another thing is, I never watched in my whole life movies. Yep. Because, first of all, I grew up with television when 1956 in Germany, we had television. Yep. And so I didn't want that in my life anymore. And also, I only, in, as an adult in Australia, I only watched a movie when I was feeling really bad, which happened very rarely. Yeah. yeah? Then I watched a nice movie. And now you're recommending various movies, and that was also the last thing I wanted to do. Yeah. Because I walked out of so many cinemas with a partner also, because I wanna, don't want to see that crap. It's just an illusion. It's not true anyway. Yeah. And blah, blah, blah. And now I'm watching movies, and I can cry. And I think of every single movie, I think of something in my past, and I can look at it. And, and see where a uh, relationship between them. Yeah. What, what you've been doing a lot, Rita, is that is now you're actually being honest with yourself. Exactly. For, for the first yeah. time in your spiritual development. In exactly. A way. Yeah. And I was looking down. I mean, I knew there was something like spiritual materialism, but I wasn't one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and most people who, who are in the New Age movement have this almost haughty look at everything else, but in reality, what you're just relating is this soul condition reflection of your child back to you as a parent. That is the perfect reflection of your own condition. Yeah. And it's just so wonderful. Like, it's a beautiful thing. It's not a bad thing. No. It's a beautiful yeah. thing to actually acknowledge and then work with. Yeah. And I just want to say, I'm so, so, so grateful. I can't, I can't believe it. It's just changed <laughs> my life. That's great. Yeah, yeah. thank you. There's a lot, we, we've known a lot of, uh, we know quite a number of people who've got autistic children or, or uh, Down syndrome children, and when they actually apply the uh, principles of divine truth in their own soul, the child just changes immediately. That's immediately. The, the As a drop of a pin. Yep, yep. They'll and so everything you say is true yep. because with normal children, they have the intellect. That's right. Yeah? They have to work again. But my child problem. hasn't. That's right. But I never knew to look there. So yeah. I just can't believe it. Yeah. And so she is, in a way, your perfect yeah. road home to God. And right? my life is now so easy. Yep. Yeah. I yep. can't believe it. And the other beautiful <laughs> thing, Rita, is you know what the other beautiful thing is? Yeah. She will lead you home to God enough for you to become at one with God. And you know what you'll be able to do then? What? You'll be able to heal her of her Down syndrome. Well, I have, heur I've, uh, I've heur heard that when she was born in the New Age movement. Yeah. yeah. So that you think that is possible. Yeah. Because actually she's quite intelligent. I thought other carers say that too. Yeah. Yeah. She's very intelligent, even though she has a low IQ. But who cares about IQ, yeah? yeah. <laughs> so so the I, I, that's the beauty, is, is a child who is so <laughs> in tune with their own emotions, like an uh, like a autistic or Down syndrome child is, can actually lead you to God so rapidly, if you're humble, can lead you to God so rapidly that by the time you get to God, you'll be able to heal the child. Yeah, and I want to say something else. I have another daughter, she went to Harvard, so she's highly, highly intelligent, yeah? And that is so funny, if she visits, she is so much drawn to her. Yeah. She's so much, so patient with her, yeah? But she's just the opposite, so she would never come here because it's just an, another fad his, her know, mother really. has. <laughs> With the amount of changes you're making, you never know what yeah. might happen in the future. Anyway, thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stop now for a break uh, because it's uh, 3.30 by looks, something like that. So, um, but we'll, if we can, um, I think there's teas up the back, darling, what's, what's the teas up the back? Some of you have brought some snacks, I think. Maybe not. But there is tea up the back and everything. And we'll start again in about half to three quarters of an hour time. Is that all right?